Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll talk about Schrodinger equation and its derivation. It was suggested in the comments, so let's dive right in. Propagation of a wave makes particles of the medium to oscillate about their mean position. These oscillations are to and fro along the same path, and the motion is deferred as a simple harmonic position, SHM. Displacement of a particle from its mean position is given by a simple equation from wave mechanics as y equals a times sine of omega t minus delta which can further be modified to y equals a times sine 2 pi v over lambda of t minus x over v quantum mechanically this particle describing shm in accordance with the equation has a wave, or in particular a matter wave, associated with it, which is represented by a wave function, psi of x and t. This wave function is not a directly measurable quantity and may be complex in the nature. The wave function associated with a particle moving along the positive x direction is given by psi equals a times e to the negative i omega parenthesis t minus x over v where a is the amplitude of oscillations omega is angular frequency t is the time x is position and v is its velocity as omega equals 2 pi v and v equals curly v lambda the equation modifies to psi equals a times e to the negative i 2 pi curly v parenthesis t minus x over curly v lambda and omega is then equal to 2 pi and curly v I'm sorry then this simplifies to psi equals a times e to the negative i 2 pi parenthesis curly v t minus x over lambda if Curly V is the frequency of oscillations, the total energy is given by E equals H times curly V equals 2 pi H bar curly V, where H is Planck's constant and H bar is H over 2 pi. And thus, curly V equals E over 2 pi H bar. Also, lambda equals H over P, which equals 2 pi H bar over P by the Broglie's hypothesis. Therefore, our equation becomes psi equals a times e to the negative 2 pi parentheses e t over 2 pi h bar minus x p over 2 pi h bar which equals a times e to the negative i 2 pi over 2 pi h bar times parentheses e t minus x p which equals a times e to the negative i over h bar times parentheses e t minus x p. This equation represents a mathematical representation of an unrestricted particle of total energy a and momentum p moving along the positive x direction. The total energy e of the particle can be written as e total equals the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. In mathematical language, this is equal to 1 half mv squared plus v, which equals m squared v squared over 2m plus v, which equals the momentum squared over 2m plus v. e times psi equals p squared psi over 2m plus v psi where v is potential energy of the particle, which is a function of x. Differentiating our equation with respect to x, we get that the partial derivative of psi with respect to x equals a times e to the negative i over h bar, parentheses e t minus x p, then times i p over h bar. Again, differentiating with respect to x, we get that the second derivative of psi with respect to x equals minus p squared over h bar squared 
times a times e to the negative i over h bar parentheses e t minus x p. And using one of our previous equations, we get that the second derivative of psi with respect to x equals minus p squared psi over h bar squared, which then becomes p squared psi equals minus h bar squared second derivative of psi with respect to x. And then differentiating our equation with respect to t, we get the partial derivative of psi with respect to t equals a times e to the negative i over h bar parentheses e t minus x p times minus i e over h bar. And then again using our previous equation we get that the partial derivative of psi with respect to t equals minus i e over h bar times psi. Therefore e times psi equals minus h bar over i times the partial derivative of psi with respect to t. And then our main equation becomes minus h bar over i partial derivative of psi with respect to t equals minus h bar over 2m the second derivative of psi with respect to x plus v psi. And then substituting one of our equations into this equation, we get that h bar over i times the partial derivative of psi with respect to t equals h bar squared over 2m, the second derivative of psi with respect to x minus v psi. And this equation is a one-dimensional time-dependent Schrodinger equation. The same can be written in three dimensions as h bar over i partial derivative of psi with respect to t equals h bar squared over 2m del squared psi minus v psi, where del squared equals the second derivative with respect to x plus the second derivative with respect to y plus the second derivative with respect to z, which is also called the Laplacian operator. And thus, the time-dependent Schrödinger equation can be derived from the wave mechanics considering the equations for a particle describing SHM. This derivation has its own importance as it paves the way from classical to quantum mechanics. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.